Good morning to all those tuning in. This is the Web Lemon, and today we're back to playing The Desolate Hope. So, the game plan today is to enter the fourth simulation and try and navigate the maze. So, let's get right into it. It's not like we have much else to do, right? So we are working on night phase, which should be able to give us just the extra little bit of time that we need. And there we go. So in the last broadcast, we actually defeated a lot of the viruses in other simulations, but at the moment, we're kind of locked to sacking uh, an object on the first simulation, the second virtual, vertical corridor, and then check the upper rooms. Unfortunately, at the moment, we are stuck and I do believe we might actually need a upgrade uh, robot or like any robot in general because it just seems that we need way more Unbelievable to me if we have. Um, it's not that one, it's not that one. Huh. And it's been so long since I've been here, unfortunately. That I actually don't know what path I should be taking. So that's a little unfortunate. But it's what it is, I suppose. Oh, I think we need this area. But important. Oh, this is a dead uh, simulation. What's the point of those simulations if they're just dead? Is it like a bug or are they programmed to be exactly like that? And then you can't talk to those guys. is suddenly here, it is attacking an object on it. Nope, we need in here. Uh, we are on the brink of recreating the human race. Uh, the way it should have always been. Yeah, just not that missing sample. Oh, there's the last one! Oh, 
Okay, good. I was worried that we wouldn't be able to get all of them. Increases green ball value, yellow ball. Oh, this should help. Because it has been shown that the uh, little balls are actually important. It's a marvelous cycle. Man creates technology and technology creates man. I'm here looking for sample 217. Have you seen it? Alright, let's get right in there. Let's hope it's an easy fight. Oh, that's kind of cool. And then... Nice! Psycracker, photo wall. We need Mecha Charge, photo wall. Uh, we want Burn. We're actually doing a lot of damage now. Let's focus on charging. Most of our guys. Um, Quinn. Have they not attacked yet? Oh my god. Oh, that was a misclick. Ha! Huh, nice! That was awesome! And that's actually a cool robot. Okay, we got a virus right off the bat. That actually feels really good to accomplish. I'm actually kind of proud of myself, you know? Wow, our damage has actually gone up. And has steadily been going up. I've decoded the file being attacked by the virus. And I've decoded a new way to deactivate you. This is a life support system. It is designed to preserve and maintain living tissue and keep it functioning for up to 16 years in stasis. Maybe these attacks are random after all. There are no humans on this, this station who would need life support. There would be no useful purpose in having this information. Maybe that's not the case at all. Because the virus could actually be trying to either A, repurpose the data to preserve um, data functions or to help preserve tissue so it can create a, its own body. The other thing is, is if the simulation actually successfully creates humans, it would likely be beneficial to put them in stasis until a significant amount has been created to not only maintain and upgrade the current systems, but then also improve efficiency of creating humans uh, and even increase the um, efficiency at um, not only preserving, but maybe even preserving tissues, but that's just a theory. While the virus is malicious, then it would seek out anything that could benefit humans. Even under different circumstances, I will encrypt it and store it until the virus is eliminated. Hmm, okay. Well, let's hop back into this simulation. As I don't know if there's any other. There still has to be more hacking bots. Because we've seen all of the bots in every simulation. 
except for that hack bot. But that one's weird. I have a suspicion about the virus next time I get to be quick. Are you kidding me? Why would it pause on... Okay, that actually kind of pisses me off. So why wouldn't it pause energy de de degradation? Huh, that's incredibly weird. Yep, I have to speak with Bio. Thank you for finding out the virus. Uh, before it did it more damage. However, the virus was still able to take a piece of the simulation. I'm not sure what it took. Tell me, have you found anything strange back at the station? Any clues to the whereabouts of the missing sample? It would be labeled 217. It was 217 out of 352. I don't have much more information concerning the sample. It disappeared after the initial database entry. All I know is that the, it was a biological tissue sample. It was marked as a human tissue sample of some sort. We only have two others on record. A sample of mushroom tissue and a sample of brain tissue. However, the third sample was unique, however. It is a vital... It is vital that are uh, to be found and processed for my research. I hope you understand the importance of this matter. I'm going to guess that it's likely a bone tissue. Not quite far this time. It's close to the sandbox, the construction log. Take the first right down the first vertical corridor. Okay, that's actually quite close. I might want some... Attack and defense and speed upgrades. Um, would it be beneficial going down? No, it's a maze down there. Uh, I guess that's good enough, right? It said the first right down the first corner. I would be down this way, right? Yeah, because this is a sandbox. So, if we can't defeat it this round, then we're definitely going to have to um, collect up some. Okay, let's. Um. Stun Ring. Psycho. Oh, one of our bots is out. Charge. Quick repair. Okay, we need that shield up. Ah, uh, burn violence. Charge, charge. Psycho. If we can get a super charge in, that might be good. Oh no, we just fucked up. Um. Photo wall, there we go. It seems like as long as we can get the photo wall up, we're pretty good. Run the virus. Um, charge. Oh, maybe we should have. I'm gonna get the super charge up. Charge, charge. Um, slot. Photo wall. Photo wall. Um, Gale Storm, Slug Virus, Photo Wall. Okay, we're doing actually pretty good. Um, charge, um, Gale Storm, Charge, Charge. Actually, we're doing pretty good now. Charge. Oh no, this might be the end if it kills us. 
bunch of violets. Psycracker, hell yeah. That was actually pretty good. We're doing a lot better than we have been in previous days. But there's still gonna be a lot of work to do. As we still need to level up all of the bots. And not only that, but I do feel like there's going to be more upgrades available. This was a sizable chunk of data you saved. Too big for you to decode. Let's get back to work. Oh, I decoded the file. The data block is a stem cell repair algorithm. It is designed to repair damaged cells. It looks like it's been tampered with. It was being rewritten for something more specific when the virus attacked it. That's very enlightening. However, it's pointless. There would be no need for that here. It looks like it's being it was being fine-tuned for something very small. Hmm. That actually has me curious. Cause what? Because the smallest things I can think of that it would be likely reprogrammed for would be viruses. But maybe this is coming from someone who didn't know much about biology. And I guess small scale could be something like sperm and egg. But I'm not actually too sure. Clearly, it would take a brilliant mind to make these kinds of changes. I wouldn't even imagine BioBeta himself being capable of this, but I suppose it might have been him. Before we continue, I actually want to go into the room next door and check him out. Because it's the only place I could imagine a sample being held. can find it because there's an actual physical sample somewhere so that means there has to be a hidden area of the station which just makes this whole thing way more questionable uh, suspicion about the virus next target speak with bio beta then will give me an opening that, so I can flag it for you. Alright. I feel that your efforts will be in vain. The sample 217 is not found soon. Eventually only one simulation can remain viable as re resources become scarce. I'm sure you appreciate the work I've done here and can agree that this is the only sensible option. Humanity as the world know knew it is gone. Technology is the answer. Humanity can be reborn. Sleek metallic bodies immune to disease and age. Resistant to the harsh conditions of other planets. All that I lack is a spark of life. I seek the final piece of the greatest puzzle of life. Sample 217. It's the piece that I've been monitoring, uh, you. Would you be kind enough to search Amos or Thrill? Surely you have heard Amos' story, the fifth robot in the cold room. He was the first to break down. The stimulation never activated. There was still an energy reading, however. I monitored Carthy long before you arrived. He made frequent visits to... Amos' room, but would never tell me why. We are unable to examine the room. Tell me, what is there? Is there a science capsule? The red thing. 
Uh, if there were, uh, there would be no need for coffee to hide it from us. Uh, how much do you really know about your coffee companion? Hmm, good point. Good point indeed. I found the virus's next target. It's a narrow crawl space to the left of the first vertical quarter. You may need x-ray goggles to see the hidden passage. Yes, I do know of it. So coffee is hiding something. That actually worries me. Cause why would coffee hide something? Hmm, I'm very sketched out. And I don't know how to feel about this. Cause it kind of feels like Hiding something for some reason, but as to why or what is something altogether very um, I guess almost like he knows something that the other gods don't. But if that's the case, why keep it a secret if it's that important, you know? I'm starting to think that maybe, just maybe, that one system wasn't fully shut down. Or I should say that it didn't break down. I'm actually starting to think that maybe it, in fact, um, was shut down on purpose. But, in order to investigate, I'm starting to think we have to defeat this one first. But the mystery does... Okay, charge, photo wall, charge. Okay, good thing we got the photo wall out. Uh, photo wall, quick repair. Okay, good to know it's back up and running. Oh god, it needs... He needs more levels. He's only at level 6. Uh, Sidecracker, charge. Ah, uh, Gale Storm, charge. Oh no, we need that. Ew. Ah, uh, Quick Repair. Sidecracker. Oh no, I think we're- I think we're gonna die here. Okay, maybe not. We might be in there. Oh no! We need that photo wall up now! Ah, oh, god damn! Am I doing something wrong? But let's definitely check out the room next door. Cause I'm I'm starting to think that it's that red capsule. But there actually may be um more upgrade locations that I don't know about. And that kinda bugs me. Cause that has four domes, but there's only three domes here. 
Yeah, that just takes me back to the station as I thought. Hmm. Uh, let's go in one more time. Why not? But it does seem like I definitely need to defeat that last uh, virus in the other room. But I'm gonna need way more upgrades. Maybe it's that I need... Um, I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, I know. Maybe that there's... There has to be something else. I think it's the leveling of the actual bots. Or maybe this strategy that I'm not incorporating. I don't know. Oh, that's the winter thing. Dip out of the simulation and prepare to go outside. Hmm. See, now I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, we actually nailed down a few of them pretty well, which I'm actually really glad. Oh, they're only at 7% though. That's not very good. Hmm. I'm feeling I'm missing upgrade bots. I really... I really do think so. Because I can't think of anything else, you know? Oh, a power cell. It can power the station for one day. <gasps> yes! We have just extended our day. If we can find multiple of these, then maybe the mystery can continue. But that has to be rare, right? Hmm. I think one of the things that... Oh shit, that gives us two more days. Oh my god, that gets even better. That allows us to... Not only search, the NSG's cell can power the loon infamous for an entire day. Well done in finding it. I've routed the power to the central energy cell. And he says that twice. Oh my god, two more days is going to be amazing. That will be the difference between um, everything, really. Because that way we can actually farm and search more thoroughly for upgrade robots we may have missed. But I can't unfortunately count on the batteries because I've only have gotten two out of what, seven days? That is incredibly, incredibly awful. And I need all of my robots to be way higher leveled up. Especially this robot. As this one actually gives me my shields, which I rely very heavily on. But I need to get start getting some passive um, damage down, as I believe that's one of the biggest problems I have so far. Hmm. And then what else? Okay, let's 
head back. I guess I should have really um, checked out that last item. Because if it was an energy cell, I would have totally dropped the snow glow. Because I don't care how um, high that guy goes. But I do start needing to get um, more of the other sim simulations. Oh, sorry. Uh, Mavericks up and running to higher degrees. But I guess I guess that doesn't really matter. Like, no, I'm finding items. I'm not gonna. Yeah, that's nice, but I need items. I'm really hoping that... Oh no! I think these show up... When there's no items. Which is definitely not a good thing. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't mind the extra chips. But I would definitely prefer items, especially for upgrades. But anyways, I need a power walk all the way back to the station. So, I guess this is the end of today. So, thank you for tuning in to our frequency. This is the Web Lemon signing off. So, good night and sweet nightmares. <laughs>